all the students of 11 and 12 plus are welcome to my online class. I hope you all are still well. I'm fine too, with the great mercy of Almighty Allah. And at first I'd like to thank to our Almighty Allah who has still kept us safe and sound. Today I like to continue my class on modifier. Previously we took two classes on modifier and we are discussing modifier, especially pre-modifier. And today I am delivering my third lecture on modifier and I like to uh, conclude the discussion of pre-modifier today. So first of all, I like to <coughs> tell you something about noun adjective. Noun and adjective here will be used as pre-modifier. Noun and adjective are two separate parts of speech, but here together they express a complete sense, a complete meaning. And in the first example we saw, we see, we enjoyed a wonderful football match. Here, wonderful adjective football is here, a noun. Together they express a meaning or gives extra information about the very noun mass and takes the place before the very noun mass. So it's a pre modifier and here we find adjective and noun together gives extra information about the very noun. So it's a noun adjective and here it is used as pre modifier. Second example, let us go out by the excellent series. Here we also find excellent an adjective, see a noun, and together they give extra information about this. So they are called noun adjective, and here it is used as pre-modifier. Third example we see, we enjoyed a pleasant train journey last year. Pleasant train journey last year. So here we also find pleasant train is noun adjective and used here as pre-modifier. Fourth example, here we find he bought a small teapot. Here we can't say he bought a small pot. We can say he bought a teapot. We may say this, but it doesn't give a complete meaning. What we actually wanted to want to mean. So to express the complete meaning, what we actually want to say, we must use noun adjective small t. And here small t gives another in information about what. So it's a noun adjective and used here as primary pair. Can you hear me? Tazneen, Mustaqim, and Harun. Can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we have already uh, started our class and uh, try to understand the very class. And if you feel any sort of problem, you will ask me. I will try my level best to make you understand. OK? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are uh, uh, taking the class on modifier, and it's a, a class which is uh, taken by me. And it's uh, here we uh, actually want to say that I am continuing my class on modifier, and today I am giving or delivering third lecture on modifier. So those who are new may feel some sort of problem but try to understand what i actually want to mean today i am uh, i have started my discussion on modifier pre modifier especially on noun adjective and i have given you some example the fourth example is you see he bought a small teapot he bought a a small teapot. We uh, 
here use a small t. A small is an adjective, t is noun. So adjective and noun together yeah. express or gives extra information about what. And as we use here noun and adjective, so it's called noun adjective. And as it is taken noun place adjective. before the very noun part, so it's a premodifier. So here we uh, correctly present an example of noun adjective, a small t. Can you understand? The fifth example is they took rest under a shadowy banyan tree. T is here a noun and shadowy an adjective, banyan, a tree, uh, one kind of tree, a name of a tree, a noun. So here we also use an adjective and a noun and they together express a sense or meaning. So it's a noun adjective used here as primitive here, isn't it? Can you listen to me? Can yes, you sir. listen to me? Yes. Yes, sir. The sixth example is David Copperfield. Yes. It's my favorite Shadow. English novel. David. So shadow means. Shadowy means. Uh, shadowy means shadow of one thing. When we uh, feel uh, sunrise, when we feel sunrise, we take yes. shelter under a tree because it's a shadowy. It gives a shadow. Okay. Can you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The sixth example yes, is David Copperfield is my favorite English novel. Favorite English novel. We may say favorite novel, but we uh, don't actually understand the novel is written in what language. So we have to tell favorite English novel. Together, favorite and English gives extra information about novel. So and it takes place before the very particular noun. So it is a premodifier and as it is expressing a sense together jointly, so it is called noun adjective. The last example yes, of noun adjective is Saidabad is a busy bus station. Busy adjective, bus, noun, together they express a sense or no. gives extra information about the station. So it's called noun adjective, and here it is used as primitive. So I hope you may understand, or you may have understood uh, what is noun adjective is. Is there any problem no, about sir. noun adjective? Okay, so now I am going to our next slide. That is adverb. Adverb is a kind of premodifier. Adverb is a kind of premodifier. When an adverb takes the place of before a noun and gives extra information about that particular noun, it, it is called premodifier. And as it is adverb, it is called adverb used as premodifier. Adverb is of different kinds. We know adverb is of different kinds. Adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of degree, and so on. So these kinds of adverb may take place before a noun and gives extra information about that very particular noun. And then it will be called premodifier. The first example is here given the dot, 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 train will leave now. What kind of adverb may be taken place here? Can you tell me? You up and use, down. Uh, you have to use an adverb. Up, up and down. Uh, so here we may up find. Or down. Thing. Down is. Down is a correct adverb here. Down may be up, may be in that or, uh, place. Isn't it? The down yes, train. Down yes. is an adverb yes. and takes the place before the very particular noun and gives extra information about that very noun. So it's an adverb and used here as a primary pair. The next example is 
the dot 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 passes is difficult. What kind of adverb may be in place? Can you tell me? You have to use an adverb before the very noun passes as prepositional. See. So below passes. Yeah, below passes. Above passes. Above passes. These are uh, adverbs and uh, adverb of ta, adverb of place because it indicates a place. What passes? The passes described above. What passes? The passes described below. So it's it gives extra information about that very passes. So it's a premodifier. And as it is adverb, so it is an adverb prerogative. Yes, then we find the dash precedent didn't follow the right way. We have to use okay, another adverb as prerogative here. The then precedent. The then, then precedent. Then we know uh, an adverb of time. Then indicates a time. So it is called adverb of time. Takes time. place before the very noun precedent and gives extra information or additional information about precedent. So it is called adverb used here as prerogative. The, the next example, number four, the dot 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 man can help you. What will be the adverb here? Very, the very man. Very, we know, very man. is an adverb, takes place before the very noun man, gives extra information about that very man, so it's a prerogative. And as it is adverb, so we call it adverb prerogative. Last example of adverb dash Allah can save us from the pandemic. What kind of adverb may use here? We say only Allah, only Allah, only Allah. is here, only is here an adverb. So it's yes, a, another example of adverb used here as prerogative. In such a way, we may use adverb as prerogative. Can you understand? Yes, yes sir. Is there any problem here? No. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we go to the next slide. Another kind of prerogative is determiners. Determiners. Determiners itself is of different kinds. Determiners itself is of different kinds. Maybe article, maybe possessive, demonstrative, quantifiers. Quantifier is also of different kinds. Maybe cardinal, ordinal, multiplicative, like indeterminate. If you are asked to use a determiner, if you are asked to use a determiner, you may use any sort of de determiners among them. Maybe article, positive, demonstrative, quantifiers, but you must follow, you must complete the meaning. You have to uh, you have to make the meaning clear. <clears throat> so, article we know a, an, or the positive, my, our, your, his, her, their, these are positive, demonstrative, this, that, this, those. Whenever you are asked to use a demonstrative, then you must use among these four. Uh, elements, this, that, this, those. If you are asked to use quantifiers, then you have to, you may use cardinal. Cardinal means one, two, three, four, in such a way we use the number is called cardinal. Ordinal means first, second, third, fourth. Multiplicative means single, double, triple, in such a way we use the numbers is called multiplicative. Indefinite. Indefinite means some, few, many, which are not definite number. It may indicate some unlimited number, some, 
few, many, all in such a way we may say these are called indefinite. So whenever you are asked determiners, you may use any sort of determiner. But if you are asked particularly positive, then you must use among my, our, your, his, her, their. Yeah. You have no option to use article, uh, demonstrative, like. But if you are asked determiners, then you may have enough facility, enough freedom to use this sort of options. Say, he bought a pen, an example. Here we find A. A is an article used before a noun. Yes. So it's a primary here. The Padda is a big river. The is here article used before the noun. So it's another example of determiners and particularly article. Next, his brother has gone to Japan. He's a possessive used before a noun brother. So it's a possessive primordifier uh, uh, here. Our country, it is also used as primordifier. Then we say, I bought this book. This a demonstrative pronoun used before a noun. So it's a primordifier here. Those boys. In the case of plurality of noun, we should use these or those. So those, another demonstrative pronoun used before a noun, boys, so it's a primordifier here. Can you understand? Yes, sir. Now we say quantifiers. Quantifiers, one, two, three, mass, many, some, mass, many, lot, a little, and so on and so on the <clears throat> man has mass money here mass indicates some amount of money but it doesn't indicate a fixed amount of money isn't it it yes, indicates some amount of money but not indicate the fixed amount of money so it is called indefinite mass money Give me a little rice here, a little is uh, used Mango. here, a primordifier. He has five mangoes, five, a cardinal number used before a noun. So it's called primordifier. One day, one is also a cardinal noun, one. So used before a noun day, it's a primordifier here. Two friends, two here primordifier. Many men, many minds, many an indefinite pronoun used here as primordifier. Some boys are swimming. So some place is placed before a noun. It is also primordifier. Can you understand? Can you understand? Yes, sir. So today yes, sir. I have discussed noun adjective, adverb, and determiners. And uh, we find so many elements in the determiners. And today, uh, I have tried to conclude my lecture on determiner, especially pre, uh, sorry, uh, modifier, especially pre modifier. All kinds of pre modifier have been discussed on uh, all through my three lectures today. So far, I have given three lectures on modifier. And I uh, like to, I have already concluded, ended my lecture on pre modifier. On my next class, I'll try to discuss the post modifier. But now, if you face any sort of problem, you may ask me question. Is there any question? Is there any question? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So uh, I think you will enjoy my next class on post modifier. And if you have, uh, if you have found some problems, you will ask me question on my next 
lecture next class and today uh, i like to end here uh, and i hope and i pray to allah for all of you so that you may uh, keep yourselves safe and sound and i also advise you stay home and save yourself okay thank you all assalamu alaikum sir wa alaikum assalam